I also said in this election I wanted to give people in Scotland the choice of independence and I intend to do that when we are out of the crisis. We've got a difficult few months still ahead of us. We're in a good position with COVID. I hope everything is going firmly in the right direction, but we've got to make sure that that continues to be the case and that we get on with the job of delivering that 100 days plan, getting our recovery from COVID underway. Uh, the legislation, if a referendum is to be delivered within the first half of this parliament, which is my preference, COVID permitting, uh, we have to introduce the legislation in a time frame to facilitate that happening. But of course, these will be decisions for the whole parliament uh, once it is back in operation next week. If we end up in court, which is not something I want to see, that would only be because we had a UK government that refused to accept Scottish democracy. And I think that would be an absurd, outrageous and completely unacceptable position for them to be in. I support independence, the UK government oppose independence, that's legitimate, but the only people who have the right to decide that question are the people of Scotland, and the way to do that is in a referendum. So the SNP has just won a landslide election victory on the strength of a commitment to a referendum when the time is right. There is a pro-independence majority in the Scottish Parliament. You know, the statistics of this election campaign, in many respects, are record-breaking for the SNP. So the, the question for the UK government is a simple one, and it should not be a controversial one. Do they accept democracy or don't they? And I